Okay, it's time for game two. Let's see if we can follow up with that win with another Veen. Okay, textbook openings here. Uh, let's see, Scotch game. Okay, let's see if I remember how this goes. So I believe we don't take back, but we do something like this. So hopefully he pushes g3. Okay, he didn't push g3. Um, I can't remember what the move here is. Um, I believe it's just check and takes the knight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe someone can correct me on this one, but I think it's just takes. I don't know if I take with the queen. Oh, wow. Uh, so my queen's kind of pinned. It's a bit of a bummer. Mm. I'm going to come out ahead on this trade. Now the question is, do we take towards the center? I think we do take towards the center, right? Yeah. Okay, so we do have check, but it's kind of a pointless check. Okay, attacking the pawn, okay. Hmm. Develop with the knight or the bishop. Maybe it doesn't really matter too much at this point. He does have some weaknesses here. He actually has a lot of weaknesses at the moment. Uh, his pieces are not very well defended. Hmm. I guess it would be kind of neat if I could just snag these two, huh? I have a lot of options here. His G and B pawns are really undefended and his rooks are kind of tucked away in corners. Well, this one more so. The A rook more so than the H rook. And do I go for the check and then fall back? I don't love that idea. I think I'll just play safe and play a developing move here. Okay. Um, I'll go for the pin on this knight here. I know he'll play here, but... Hmm. V interessant. This would be a sick fork. How do I get there? You know what? I'll just line the rook up. Nice. Lots of weak pawns here. Okay. I'll just continue to play safe. I'm not going to go for any like really aggressive plays here. Okay, let's see scheming here. Uh, the trade. I uh, guess I'm kind of forced to trade here, huh? Yeah, I had nowhere to run there, so that's fine. Okay. Um, just in a really weird <laughs> structure with my pieces, but that's fine. I'm thinking something like this. Uh, I could also attack this way. Hmm. What would be a sick fork? 
I guess C6 would be a kind of a sick fork. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so he defended that. So really it's just E6. He'll probably move up here. Hmm. Kind of want to attack his knight, but... I think we'll just attack his knight. I mean, where can he really go? I think he's forced to go c3, right? Yeah. Let's see. Is his g-pawn still really the only undefended piece here? Um, I'll just put the rook on the open file. Hmm. What does that do? Hmm. I could always try to stack my rooks here. That's one idea. I'm just going to make a safe move here and make an escape square. Okay. Um, obviously, this is a bad move. I'll just continue to put, or try to put my rooks together. Well, even that doesn't really make sense at this point. He has twice as much time as me. I think I'm talking too much. Hmm. Um, I do like taking the bishop. I think that's a fair move. Hmm. What to do? He only has one hanging piece here. Maybe I just try to connect my rooks this way. Okay. I'll probably go here. Really awkward game so far. Yeah, okay, kind of figured that. Maybe I attack his pawn here. I'm getting into some risky territory. Uh, let's see, I can't do that. Okay. Can't attack that. Can't attack this. Um. Yeah, I can attack his knight at this point. Uh, rook's defending. I want to be really mindful of the open E file here. In case he puts his rook there. Hmm. 
I feel like this is going to end in some weird fork for me. Ah, so I just lose a pawn there. Bummer. I hope he doesn't notice this. He noticed it. <laughs> I have a really, really, really bad pawn here. Uh, I'll just move this back. This game just turned. I just haven't been able to find like a sick tactic yet somewhere. Um, okay. Oh, interesting move there. Um, Probably one of the, one of the more awkward games I've played. If I'm being honest, um, I'll just continue to put pieces on open files, rooks on open files. I think the rooks are going to be my best pieces this game. Yeah, that pawn was kind of dead. Trying really hard not to get forked by this knight here. My whole pawn structure on just this side of the board just fell apart. Kind of a bummer. I have a minute and a half. He's got six minutes. Pretty bad. <laughs> Uh, that was just a really bad move. He's up one. I just don't know if I want to trade this off. I don't think it's worth it. I mean, I have a check here. It's kind of a forcing move, huh? Kind of a bummer. Um, If the F pawn was pushed up, I could have just went here. And it would have been pretty close to check. But nonetheless. He's only up one one pawn. I'll go four. I'll just go for this. I'm just gonna try some forcing moves and see if I can find like some weird check. Um, okay. Obviously, I didn't work. Ugh, what do I do? boy
Pre-moves. Finally enabled pre-moves. How exciting is that, right? <laughs> oh. Ugh. 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 <laughs> Really awkward game. <laughs> okay, what could we have done a little bit differently here? <laughs> I mean, it was pretty even, so the opponent played well. He did play well. He did play well. Let's hand it to him. Let's start the review. Okay, so far book moves. Okay, so it looks like I played this right. So what could we have done here? Yeah, this is really the only good move, right? Obviously because our queen was pinned here. So we were forced to take because his knight was here. So we were forced to deliver checks so then we could recapture. Yeah, so this pawn move, maybe this is where it kind of fell apart. So the principle that I've uh, sort of been told or have learned is that the pawns should capture towards the center. So I thought this would be a good move, but apparently it wasn't. Um, and I was a little bit worried about capturing with the D pawn here because then it just creates two open files. Uh, that the king's currently sitting in. I mean, yeah, I could have pushed the dark squared bishop to e7 and then castled shortly thereafter, but it just seemed like creating these two open files um, in the middle was going to be a bad idea. So, I don't know. I'm sure develop the knight and block the king. That makes sense, but I didn't really want to block the bishop in. Okay, so that was a decent move. It really wanted me to push the pawn. Mm, I'll push it up because I was protected there by the c6 pawn. Okay. Okay, so push the pawns further up. This move is okay, but not what I would have played. Fair. This one's time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. Hmm. Even trade. I thought this move was okay. Uh, bishop d2, because it disconnects his rooks, and we trade off e uh, equal material. C5 is an inaccuracy. You missed an opportunity to take an open file with a rook. You allowed the opponent to win a tempo by threatening a rook. Yeah, I mean, I suppose. My thought process here was that e2 was defended. No. But I'm not quite sure what I was thinking with d7. Yeah, I was attacking his knight, but it would have been so easy for him to just run it away. So put the rook on an open file. Hmm. Interesting. Fe8 is best. A great way to control the open file with your rook. Okay, good. D3, excellent. H6, excellent. Yeah, I was just trying to create an open escape square for my king there. That was sort of just a safe move. Uh, so I found knight takes bishop, just kind of one move too late. Well, I sort of had the right idea with moving the rooks up. It was just the wrong rook. <laughs> Good enough, though, I guess. Oh, looks like I had the right idea here. This is what the engine would have played. Good move by him. Really good move by him. And then this is where it fell apart. You promoted, you permitted the opponent to win material through a fork. Inaccuracy. Hmm. Yeah, so he didn't spot the attack on the rook there and the hanging pawn, so 
Looks like we kind of traded bad moves there. Bishop e6 doesn't seem so great. Uh, I felt like the bishop was going to be really valuable this game. And trading it off like this. Oh, yeah, I guess that does make sense because then it fixes my hanging pawn situation. And then I'm still up a piece. I'm still up a pawn here. So I guess that does make sense. Kind of a clever move by the engine. Hmm. Yeah, it's a really bad habit of mine to not try and touch the pawns in front of the castled king, even if it gets me in a better position here like I am. But uh, yeah, something I just need to work on. Yeah, good move by him. He spotted the uh, hanging pawn there. This move kind of just did all but nothing. Ah, right. Attack. That would make sense. You ignored a better way to move a bishop to safety. You allowed the opponent to kick a bishop. Yeah, he could have done that, I suppose, huh? Good move there. Hmm. This loses a knight? It does? Oh. Talk about unnatural moves. <laughs> rook takes knight. <laughs> Pawn takes rook. I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know about all that. I mean, let's see what happens, I guess. Oh. Oh. Bishop on the open file. Wow. Now that is a slick move, I'm not gonna lie. That's like some 1500 level moves there. <laughs> a bit above my pay grade. Huh. Yeah, I, I was definitely ignoring this. There was so much tension going on in these 12 squares here that I wasn't so much paying attention to the di diagonal that the bishop was on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really clever there. Hmm. And then we pretty much played even moves here. Um, ah, I did have a free pawn, sure. I was just kind of feeling time pressure here. Yeah, I guess I could have taken some material and evened the game up a little bit. The bishop was protected, so that makes sense. And then this would have kept the rook on the seventh rank as well. Makes sense. Really wants that pawn to move up to h5. Like, it really wants the pawn to move up to h5. Like, it really, really wants it to go there. Okay, so obviously we lost on time, but I guess overall I'm pretty happy with this game. I feel like I made two bad mistakes and sort of not noticing that really clever tactic there. I don't even know if that would be considered a tactic. Sort of sacking the rook there and then getting check with the rook and the bishop and then snagging the rook. I, I guess that's not really considered a tactic tactic is it i don't think it is i don't even know what you would call that strategy line yeah no oh, well. anyways gg schlock from india and uh see you guys tomorrow